Hey family, I came on right quick to do a very, very important video response that really needs to be discussed amongst us women. Now, this video is not for our, my male uh, viewers at all. This is primarily for my women and um, even for my young women as well because it's going to be rather graphic. It's going to be about our female anatomy and you know uh, I can't drive this point home enough because you know what I truly feel that you know it has not been discussed in depth enough um, from our mothers our grandmothers our aunties and all of those type of things and, th and this is why when I uh, uh, talk to my young ladies here on the YT. I refer to them as I, I refer myself to them as auntie because You know a lot of times it takes an older woman to to to, to school a younger woman and even at, at, In my opinion, I feel like you never get too old to learn some new things to, to be taught some things or to just bring light of some things that you know, we just were never even taught or we just weren't talked in depth about. And as a child growing up, you know, I didn't really feel totally comfortable with my mama telling me about my female anatomy and what I need to do for my girl down here and how I needed to work that out. I did a lot of ear hustling at the beauty shop, you know. And a lot of the things that were being discussed up there was a lot of female things, you know, adultery, all kinds of shit, you know, backbiting and all kind of sh backstabbing and all kind of shit that go on in the beauty shop. And so when I came on YouTube, this is why I, I, you know, for my channel, I wanted to talk about some real shit, some pertinent issues that go on in our lives that a lot of times people just want to sweep up under the rug and not want to really discuss. And so when I stepped on YouTube, I wasn't seeing a lot of the realness. I was seeing a lot of other shit. I'm not going to get all into that. I've talked about that on so many videos. And this is why I wanted to take a stand on my particular channel and show women and talk to women about all kind of issues that a lot of women just don't feel comfortable with talking about. So I nominated myself to do so. Now I just watched um, Nirvana 30's video, and then there was a video uh, response done by DPC DMPC Ward W A R D. I don't, I I can never pronounce your your uh, channel, Mama. I can never. I don't. I I guess it's an acronym of something, but I really don't know what. So. Um, she did a re video response for Nirvana's um, uh, video, and it was in reference to Nirvana had did a video about one of her friends is having a female older, and they're trying to figure out how to tell her, you know, and see, you know, I was reading a lot of the video responses and stuff, and a lot of motherfuckers was just hitting off with, you know, a bitch pussy stank, you supposed to just tell her, a bitch pussy stank, no, you supposed to just come on out. Well, you know, me... You know, I'm not one to just hurt motherfuckers' feelings. You know, for me, you have to have really cut me the wrong way for me to just just come overt and just let you know what it really is. You know what I mean? It takes a lot to get me there, y'all. I've been eating peanuts and shit. But it takes a lot to get me there. But, um, you know, I like to treat people the way in which I, I want to be treated. You know what I mean? And when it, when it comes down to telling a woman that she need to wash up, you know, it's a rather sensitive thing because nobody really wants to, nobody really wants to, want, want, want to, you know, be told that. You understand what I'm saying? That That's very sensitive. So, Nirvana, I, this is, this is, this is my take on it, okay? You know, and that's why, you know, a lot of times, put a lot of motherfuckers, Send her this video and say, girl, you know what? I got some, y'all, I got some funny shit for y'all to watch. This girl right here on YouTube, she's so funny. Whoop, 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 or whatever, okay? Um, or, 
Well, no, you can't do that because now I done already spoke your name. So it's like she know that you want her to see this or whatever. Whatever the case is, even if you just make a video and cut all of this part out that I'm talking about, cut this part out and then boom, show it. You know what I'm saying? However way. But let me say this, though. Because I'm going to keep it real because a lot of motherfuckers ain't. So let me just be honest about this thing here. Okay, first of all, a woman needs to get her annual checkup, her annual pap smear. And me, myself, personally, I like to make my appointments around my birthday. Then, therefore, I know there's a stamp in time on there. Okay, September 10th, around September 10th, it's time to go get this bitch opened up and looked into. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of you guys might pick your birthdays. Some of you guys might pick the beginning of the year. Some of you guys might pick Mother's Day. Some of you guys might go in October uh, doing breast cancer awareness month. Whatever your stamp is, stick with that. Then, therefore, you'll know that, you know what, I need to get this bitch looked into. Now, I understand that there's a lot of women out here don't have medical insurance. Then, therefore, okay, bypass that and take your ass on down there to the health department. You know what I'm saying? A, it has to be done. It has to be done. You know, I have a girl of mine, very, very dear friend of mine. Do you know she just got a pap smear? Just got a pap smear like 10 years without a pap smear. Okay, very dear friend of mine. You know, but see, a lot of people don't have medical insurance, and a lot of motherfuckers don't want to go down there to the health department. A lot of people don't want to go to the county hospital. A lot of people don't want to do all that. But this is a life and death motherfucking situation here. This is serious. I mean, because you don't know what the fuck could be harboring up in there. There's a lot of things that can be going on that a lot of women... Because, see, when a, a woman has a very foul... A uh, feminine odor, it doesn't have to necessarily mean her ass need to be clean. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of other things that can be going on in there. It could be all kind of, you know, sexual transmitted diseases, you know. And there's some sexual transmitted diseases where you don't itch. You know what I'm saying? There's other things that can be going on besides just the fact that she need to wash up, you know. Now, again... I am a nurse by trade. I went to college. I graduated. I'm 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 a, I'm a full fledged nurse, so I'm just not just throwing some shit out in the wind. I'm telling you some shit that I actually know. Okay, so there are things out there. A lot of times you need a culture test. You know what I'm saying? You need to go ahead on open up. They're gonna put you in what is called um, a, a semi follows or recumbent. Uh, type of uh, position where your feet are on your stirrups like that. You're gonna, your head is down and your booty and stuff, your legs is up. It's called recumbent position, okay? Now, or sometimes they will go with a, uh, uh, a semi follows or a supine position. It just depends on the doctor and, and how in depth, you know, I, everybody's cervix and things is different. So to go in there and look in there, they might have to put your ass down there upside down. It just, it just depends, you know what I mean? And for those women that have had abortions and things of that nature, a lot of times your cervix can have a tilt to it. A lot of women don't know if their cervix is tilted until they go and get a pap smear and then a doctor will tell them, are you aware that your cervix has a little tilt to it? Don't have niggas thinking that they done tilted your cervix based on a big dick because a big dick is not going to tilt your cervix. A lot of times that takes some other things that will do that, okay? So, you know, I don't want brothers to be thinking, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I, I put it down. I bust her chair and all. It ain't even about all of that because big ass eight, nine pound babies come up out of our shit and they close back up like ain't never, ne nothing ever happened. So, you know, a lot of times we want to allow brothers to think that they're really doing us some harm down there. But in an essence, they really ain't doing shit. You know what I mean? But let that shit aside, because this is on some serious fucking topics right now. This is some serious shit. Okay. Now, first of all, a woman needs to get... This young lady needs to have a culture done. Okay. They would do that as her regular pap smear. They would go in there. They would swab it. They would put it up under glass, and they would do. They would. They would look for all kind of different things. Okay. Now they can prescribe her different things. They can give her Diflucan, which is Diflucan is a one pill that uh, is pink, and that is for yeast. 
okay? Or they can go, if it's something a little bit more in-depth than that, and you're talking about more of a vaginosis or bacteria or, you know, or even a sex, sexually transmitted disease such as um, a chlamydia or things of that nature, they can give her what is called flagell, okay? Flagell is a very bitter, bitter pill, okay? And so, and they would, based on whatever uh, regimen they put her on, they could say, okay, you're going to take this BID, which is twice a day times five, which is five days, or they can have them taken um, three times a day for seven, whatever the doctor prescribes, okay? Because let's face it, every woman has her own signature scent. A lot of women want to act like they pussy never stank. Every every woman's pussy have a little something going on with it, okay? It's just a fact on how you manage yours. Because for a woman to come on and say, oh, my pussy don't never stank. I ain't never had no stanky pussy. You're lying. The truth ain't in you. Because let me tell you something. Anytime a woman have relations with a man, when you're having sexual relations with a man and he is coming in your pussy, okay? Now, first of all, his uh, makeup is going to be different from yours. So once you put these two chemicals together, okay, his semen gets with 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 with, with your lubricant. When it comes together, sometimes it, it just don't mesh well, okay. And then the next morning, you still laying in the bed and you just happen to whip up them covers and it's like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? From fucking last night, I done had it done. I know what it is, okay. I'm, I'm not a virgin. I still have a, a very active sex life. Now, I have to say, in my relationship with the man that I'm with right now, when we come together, it's not very foul. Sometimes a woman can be with a man, and it's just, whew, I mean, it's foul. Okay, and then some women can mesh with that man, and then when they come together, he come in there, and then a day after that, it might not be as foul. You know what I mean? But it just depends, okay? But first of all, a woman needs to know where she stands, okay, with her anatomy. She needs to know that. She needs to know if she's on a 28-day cycle, whether she's on a 30-day cycle, when she's ovulating. A lot of women don't know this. A lot of women need to know their anatomy. They need to know how to do self-breast exam tests. They need to know all this, and a lot of women don't know it. A lot of women don't want to admit that they don't know it. But I'm going to put it out there, okay? Not because I'm licensed and I know it. I'm just saying that there's a lot of women that won't admit the fact that they don't know, okay? Now, I'm always pushing the fact that women should shave. I can't stress that enough. Reason being is because if a woman cut down on all that pubic hair, that cuts down on a lot of odor itself. Now, see, a lot of women, you know, they, they saying that their skin is so sensitive and all that other kind of stuff and, uh, because it's fear. They, a lot of women have a fear that if I cut this off, I'm going to be bumped up, lumped up. That means that whatever you used that last time, it wasn't right. Now, if you use an old razor, yes, you're going to bump up. If you use something that is too strong for your system, yes, you're going to bump up. You cannot use Nair. And, and, and shit like that on, on your pussy because, yes, you will bump up. You will have an allergic reaction to some of those things. Some people's skin is very sensitive. I'm one of them. I'm allergic to a lot of things that I just can't roll with. There are some women that are allergic to their men's semen, you know, and they don't know why after they've had sexual relations why their shit is just itching and burning and all this kind of stuff. They're allergic to his semen. It is a such thing of that, okay? Whereas the, 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 the smell is very foul. It should not be foul. It should not be so foul where it's just like... It should never be like that, okay?